Hey guys, how y'all doing? No shave update kind of thing, plus doing a little bit of a rebuild slash ramble on pumps. Um, some of you guys may have, yes these are Game Boys. I, as you guys know I'm a collector I, I, and I recently went to a yard sale and picked up a couple of Game Boy Colors and, and yeah. Anyway, um, as you guys know, um, as you pointed out in some of my videos, that um, the sound from my air cooler on my AMD recording rig is getting too loud, and it is. It's mostly because um, it's overclocked to 4 gigahertz, and it's on a stock air cooler. Well, you guys also know that I have um, done custom water loops in the past, and I stopped water cooling the rig because, well, this pump initiated a leak real bad and it's I don't know where the leak is coming from I really don't so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be trying to diagnose where the leaks coming from I know the bottom barb is leaking like crazy because there used to be an o-ring seal on here that went bad um, maybe I will grab some uh, wax I mean, you just take a, 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 a candle, put it on the threads, take a lighter and just melt the wax a little bit and thread it in. Um, or you can use plumber's Teflon tape, which is what I'm planning on using anyway. So I'm going to re-tape re the threads because there was a little leak coming out from the inlet of the pump. We've also got to buy some more barbs um, because this radiator has compression fittings and these compression fittings are too big for the hose I'm using uh, for example here take the compression fitting it shouldn't slide on that easy because the moment I'll tighten down the collock like so Oh dear, I'm not the case, and ta-da, the tube just came right out. So these barbs are the wrong uh, size. So, so these compression fittings have got to come out. So out they come. So here in the next few days, I've got to buy some barbs and barb up radiator. Now I I hope this radiator is copper not aluminum because I don't want galvanic action between the radiator and the block. It looks like a copper radiator. I don't suggest you do this. Okay the top's copper channel of copper. You really shouldn't do this guys because there's a chance you can damage the radiator but it is the channel it's copper. No, they're aluminum. So this is an aluminum radiator so I can't use it. Yay! <sighs> Stand by for action! I'm glad I have this little sucker. Um, this is a a 240 but it's a 120 by 60 it's a 120 60 mil uh, I guess this will have to work for now until I can get a big radiator but uh, again I'm gonna have to get barbs for this sucker because this one this is this is what came with the radiator uh, with the um, the block and this was supposed to be at five eighths. There's no way this is five eighths. I can't even get the colic over. See, <laughs> there's no way that's five eighths. Typical Chingalese. You know, um, that's the downside to working with some uh, uh, eBay sellers. Is they'll they'll promise you everything under the sun. You know, and it just turns out to be Chinese junk. All right, so we're gonna throw some uh, Teflon tape on this. I may. Uh, this will probably be the first uh, 
vlog update video I'd done where I've actually edited in a while. A while. Because uh, normally I don't edit the, the vlogs, I just grab them from the camera and throw them straight onto YouTube. But uh, So this is the inlet. See now if it was up to me, I would turn this into the inlet. I would turn this into the inlet. Just cap off that inlet. And have that. You know what? I might do that. And see what's the worst that can happen. You know what I mean, guys? So I'm gonna tighten up this sucker. Can I see O ring seals? Now the pump. Is offset. It's that back seal back there that's doing the end. I'm gonna bug my heat gun up and let that heat up for a, for a few minutes. Do I have cinnamon on my desk? Oh, no. So I can then take this. Are you like sugar in it? Sugar, yes. And a little bit of milk? Yeah, right. milk, two sugars, thank you. So, uh... Hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, for some reason, my uh, my box seemed to do better than my uh, Escape from Tarkov. So, uh, gonna do a quick no shave update. Yes, I did clean up my neck a little bit. But the face still remains, so relax, the face still remains. I did clean up the uh, the neck though. And so, have a cup of coffee here, so cheers. I will be going live on Twitch here soon. A little bit after um, a little bit after uh, this video goes live. Um, update on the all-in-one the, 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 the liquid cooler thingy. Um, I'm not sure if I've posted the video or not. I don't think I have. Uh, but basically, my old liquid cooling, custom liquid cooling loop I had set for my AMD rig, I've misplaced two of the barbs. And uh, you need those to connect the hoses and stuff. So I'm a little bit behind, and I did go ahead and order some of these compression fittings, but they are the wrong size. They will not work with my current tubing. Literally. Okay, you're supposed to put the tubing in and tighten the collet down and plop. So either the store sent me the wrong size or the sizing is wrong or whatever, but yeah, there's that. So I've got to buy two new barbs. I can get those at my local hardware store here. Um, I'll probably do that in a couple of days. Ugh. So yeah, there's that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the pump res combo has a slow leak at the, at the power connector level, so it's it's dead. It really is. Here, I'll show it to you real quick. Okay, dry finger. Wet finger. That's where the slow leak was. I tried plugging it up with JB Weld and, and Hot Snot and a whole bunch of other things just weren't working. So, uh, unfortunately, that, that res is dead, but the block is still good. The block is not leaking. So, I might repurpose the block and put it on the uh, gaming rig because I'm not a fan of the water block that's on the gaming rig. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the feel of it. I just I just don't like it. I just, I just don't like it. I really don't. So, I'm going to repurpose the water block, but the pump res is dead. I might keep the res. Um, but the pump is dead because it's a universal size res. So what I might do is get a D5 pump and uh, res connector and just use that res on it. Just you know, tie it down, boom, done. 
and uh, buy some extra barbs and probably a new radiator. See, this one says it was a, 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 a was copper, but I have scraped away some of the paint on the fins and they look aluminum to me. Or aluminium, as we Brits call it. And of course, Gigi Girl is trapped in here because she went into the corner to take a poop. Because she refuses to use the litter box. Just, right now, I hate everything. Okay, fins are copper. That's a given. Because copper sheeting is cheap to buy, especially at this thinness. But the actual... channels are indeed aluminum. This is a mixed metal radiator. This is junk. I might as well just use it as a paperweight. It's junk. This is a all copper aluminum, uh, all copper radiator. So I might use this radiator for a while. Or I might just buy a new radiator. You know, screw it, I'll probably just buy a new radiator. I mean, it is a 10 core processor, so it's got a, oh, is it 10 or 8 core? I think it's 10 core, let me double check. Set four gigahertz. It's an eight core. Sorry, it's an eight core, not a ten core. It's an eight core. So it's pumping out a little bit more extra heat. So I might go ahead and grab me a a bigger radiator. You know, kind of thing, and uh, whatnot. New red's going to be about eighty bucks. The pump is going to be about. another 50 plus bucks so I'm looking at and, or I might just buy a northern one liquid cooler you know you can get them cheap now for about 50 bucks and it'll serve two purposes one if uh, if slash when I decide to get a bigger radiator and various other parts and whatnot and go to a custom loop I can take my all in one and bung it on someone else's machine or just keep it as a backup you know kind of thing so other than that, this is going to be a quick video, guys. Um, we're at six minutes, so yeah, I'm going to leave it about here. So I'm going to finish this coffee. Just let you know I'm still alive. Uh, I'll be live on Twitch today, uh, playing either Heliborn, uh, War Thunder. You know, I'll be playing something fun. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. So, uh, yeah, cheerio and all that fun British stuff. Bye.